Hey, what is up, guys? I think there was like a three second delay where I just didn't say anything. I, I didn't realize it, it started recording. But anyways, we're, we're back today to, to do our daily um, daily everything. And I just want to... Actually, I don't have a lot of time. I'm gonna... I'll, I'll talk about it while, while I do the other things because it's still the double gold time right now. So I'm, I'm trying to trying to get as much done as possible. Alright, this, this is only a level one boss. We're gonna, we're gonna wreck this guy. Um, but anyways, I've I've been raising a lot of monsters to to like just higher quality um, in the past day, past two days or so. I I was away for a day because I I was on uh, just New Year holiday because it's you know it's Chinese New Year. Just went to went went left my house for a day. Okay, I I actually do leave my house sometimes. But anyways, um, I I'm back today to. To like, I'm finally home. Back today to to continue, um, you know, farming hard uh, and 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 making videos and stuff. So, anyways, I I wanted to just share share just kind of my progress with you guys, as well as just some of the things I've, I've found out about um, the the things going on in like live arena and and um, PVP so far. Because I think. I think the game is starting to become really, really interesting again. Like I'm, I'm actually struggling to stay within top 100 in the arena. Well, that's probably because I, I've basically went free to play for the past, um, you know, like two months or so. Well, wait, it's not, it's not been, it hasn't been two months. I almost felt like two months because I, I've only paid like during the the first like two weeks or so. Like the second week that I, I started playing, I bought I bought a bunny and then I bought like two packs for Adele. And the dagger packs, and that was it. Like the the, the ones that are like three dollars, and and that was it. Um, so I, altogether, I spent like I spent like a hundred or so on on this game, like hundred US dollars. Um, but that was it. Like I, I stopped spending, and I, I I haven't really felt the motivation to to um to spend again for for a while. Like not not until they I don't know kind of bring this game back to life because I, I still think the game is is a uh, it's it's it, it's in the works. Like it's still it's still not really um, complete. I, I think I think a lot of the systems and stuff in the game aren't really um, implemented yet. So definitely waiting until they they um, they fix some shit. I think <laughs> before I I'm, I'm, I want to before I get invested. But I'm still I'm still here to play every day. Still here to um, you know farm as much as I can and also also work on work on the the arena and stuff. So I, I think I definitely do do still need to do the arena. I'll do one fight of Coliseum and one, one fight fight arena just to show you guys what's what's kind of been going on um, with with the arena lately. So within within the arena, you'll see a lot of double tank comps, I think, and there's a lot of double healers now. I think the the meta's shifting again. It's like it, it was double tank for a long time, but I think it's still mostly double tank. But then I think a lot of people are starting to switch to double healer. So I, I started raising my Olga as well to combat the double tanks. Um, I can I can kind of kind of show you. I'll, I'll test out my curts. So like right now, a lot of people are running like double tanks. So um, double healer is actually very very strong, a very strong counter to double tanks. I think it's like the direct counter to double tanks. Um, Yes, yeah, so you'll see some double healer comps as well. Double healer again. And then this one's also double healer. This one's double tank. And then this one's this one's double tank as well. I'm running double tank for, for arena. I'm not sure if I should run like DPS. I, I can't really run DPS because most most of the people running offense I, I think are still running double tank. Um, I'll, I'll try to hit someone under 100 that has a double tank comp. Not sure if I can win though. People under a hundred are really strong now. It's like they all have five stars. Um, I'll, I'll fight that guy at a hundred and something. Yeah, this is double healer as well. Yeah, it's 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 actually getting really hard to stay within t top one hundred now. Or I'll fight this guy. This guy. This guy's got double tank, um, and then Arin as well. We'll just run this comp. I don't think it really matters if you use Zelene or or Owen. I don't think that's the that's the main issue. The main issue comes with uh, 
comes with the types types of tanks and stuff you use. So I think the the reason double healer is is strong against double tank is because like as you can see, um, his 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 tank like his his first tank, his uh, Adele will eventually fall before before my tank falls. And if his first tank falls, the most of the time if my tank if my main tank is strong enough. What's gonna happen is I'm e I'm probably going to survive um, until I, I take down his tank or something like that, and then and then you know by the tank my falls but my tank falls his his second tank will die, and then um, I'm again I'm usually there there are usually only three people left but then I I have four people left and um, then then I win you know most of the time that's what happens I think that's why that's why I think double healer counters double tank. Um, but the, I think the the meta for arena is actually really really different as well. I, I've seen a lot of people run run start off with double healers right in the beginning, and like double two healers two tanks in the beginning. I think I think this is a a, a stronger lineup because um, well actually I can just show you. I'm not sure I'll win because a lot of people in the arena are like really really strong. Um, but I think the good thing about running 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 comp like this is you you basically you. You um, you just wear down their first tank. Cause the the thing is like a lot of monsters in the arena with reset or are with yeah this is the arena. Um, a lot of monsters in the arena with resets are really really strong. Like Death Knight and um, the 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 Arrow Girl. I, I forgot her name. Maria, I think. Um, and like Orc War Warlock and just. Monsters that reset on kill are very, very dangerous. I think, and that's why. Um, and if you're if you're running those comps, you basically you need to you, you need to kill their tank really fast, and then um, eventually take down their backline. But what what happens if when the when when they run comps that that have like lots of resets, lots of DPS, is if you're running a lot of tanks, they can't kill you anyways. Because even if they reset, you're they're they're still hitting tanks. Like after they kill your initial tank. You'll just have another tank pop out. Um, that's why I think it's more beneficial to go like really, really defensive in arena. As you can see, um, I, I I didn't die at all because I basically I think this is a really strong comp. I went with the Stone Golem, who gives Adele basically five more seconds of physical immunity, like almost near immunity. It's like t ninety percent damage reduction, and then two healers healing her, and then right after that thing wears off, she buffs herself for like another five seconds. So she's like. Um, able to take a lot of damage, and then even after she falls, my Stone Golem is still really, really tanky. So he's he serves as a secondary tank. Yeah, they're running like really, really scary stuff, like Black Elder and stuff. Oh shit! I think I think he counters me. His double his healing reduction is actually really strong against me. That actually, wait. Anti-heal might be really, really strong against against a comp like this, going full defensive. I think he I think he counters me. Black Elder might seriously be really strong right now. If you think about it. He's basically succubus, but um he has less crit, but he has that healing reduction. That's basically gonna be reducing heals at all times. I need my Death Knight to charge up his bar before he dies. Oh no, before his cargo dies. Oh shit, his cargo is dead. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to transform. Damn, my my death knight's passive didn't proc at all. Dang this. This actually seems pretty strong. Black Elder healing reduction might might, might be really really good. Wonder which monsters have healing reduction. There's there's a few. I know Orcus, Black Elder has him. I'll, I'll do one more. I'll do one more, and then we'll we'll get on with the other other daily stuff. I'm probably just gonna sweep my time rips today because I I don't have a lot of time. But we'll we'll get through the Tower of Insolence. Uh, open some boxes and summon. Oh, I should I should transform in, instantly right in the beginning of the battle because it, it could increase the crit rate of um, Arin, so she's healing more. This is really annoying. I don't know if, uh, holy shit. 
actually died before before his Adele. I think my, my problem, my main problem, is my Adele's only 3 stars. But if I can get her to 4 stars, I can match a lot of the other comps. Like, there's, there's no way my... My tank should fall before if he's running double DPS while I'm running while I'm running um you know double heal double tank. Unless unless his tank is just like stats wise is just better than mine. Oh shit, my Rin's dead. Alright, this is where this is where things get really messy. Ah rip. I think his Adele is just stronger, that's, that's that's all there is to it. <laughs> I mean if I can get her to four stars and also raise her to gold quality, she'll she'll be really, really strong. She's my most important monster, I think. Like like um if Adele can live longer, I can beat a lot of comps in both both uh Coliseum and Arena. Alright, I did the time I did the boss raid. I'll just sweep the time rifts later. Um, I'll do the Tower of Insolence, and then and then I'll open the boxes. The because I gotta get back to farming because it's like double gold. Also, I am at 460 now. I I um I cleared to 460 yesterday, and I'm also very very close to to getting the eyeball guy. So I'm gonna try my best to to get him and and hopefully. Hopefully he comes out. After I get the eyeball dude, I'll I'll work on um I'll work on Zombie Lord. And then I'll get the the mummy 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 lord. Then then I'll have all the monsters from the tower. And then I'm probably going to like by that time I probably would have raised the vampire up by now. Like by that time, and then I'll I'll test him out and see if he's a good tank. If he's a good tank, I'll I'll use him for for arena as like one of my tanks because you need a lot of tanks for arena. I'm basically, just stacking tanks. Um, and yeah, that's that that was basically I, I just stack tanks for days. Um, if he's not, then I'll I'll go back to working on Zenith Queen. Although I probably should work on Zenith Queen because. I still think Zenith Queen is stronger. Like just just on paper, Zenith Queen is probably still stronger. Dang, I need, I need to add a new section for my tier list um, called Coliseum. Oh no, called Arena. Wait, he hasn't spawned once? What is this bullshit? Yeah, I need to add a... I need to add a... Add a Arena section for my tier list. Although I think it's very, very similar to Colosseum, I don't think there really needs to be a difference for Colosseum and Arena. Most of the the monsters that are strong in Colosseum are strong in Arena as well. They won't be like exceptionally strong in either. Maybe the monsters that have reset, like, and, and are strong in Colosseum, might be strong in Arena as well. But they're not use they're not really usable in the in this meta because any everyone's either stacking a lot of tanks or. He and um, and or healers like if I if I run death Knight on my main if I run death Knight on my starter comp like right in the beginning um, it's not gonna work because I I I might be hitting like a lot of people that are running similar comps like me like you know two tanks two healers which is gonna be impossible to break through. Which makes me think people are probably going to turn to backline killers. Like once people realize that you know it's just not possible to to kill the front line, they might they might start looking to to go 
into the back line and just straight out kill them. That might be fun. I should I should definitely try that. I should start raising so many tanks. And then and then go back to uh start raising Rail and and what's his name? And and the werewolf. Let's go straight into their back line. I just wish I could make my Death Knight 4 stars. Like, if I can make him 4 stars, he's, he's definitely gonna be really, really strong. Alright, so I have. Oh, shit, I, I have 10 now. Alright, I'm done. I'm done with 420. I'm gonna start, um. Start working on, on the Zombie Lord now. Zombie Lord, I think, is definitely really strong as well. Is Zombie Lord the guy with, with healing reduction? as well no he has he has armor um like magic armor break basically where is he yeah magic armor break and then if an ally dies he increases magic damage yeah and this seems he seems really really strong for for arena Alright, but anyways, anyways, um not something I have right now, so I can't really can't really use them. Okay, so we're going to we're going to um I clicked the wrong button. We're gonna open all our boxes and also do do our daily summons. Um I don't think I have a lot of boxes to open. Alright, I don't have my, my chicken box yet but because I didn't do it. Anyways, I don't think I'll get something like really good in that box anyway, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna open these. Well the elder box definitely has a chance to, to get give you some like really really good shit. If you're if you're lucky enough. Yeah, these just give you daggers. They they don't give you anything else. Like it would be really nice if they give you like a huge dagger pouch, but that's that's all like that that's the best thing you can get from that. Oh dang, dang! I got sixty daggers from that. That was good. That was uh, that was not bad. Right, let's do my do my daily summon. Come on, give me something useful. Oh my god, fucking mimic again! Are you kidding me? I just used all his pieces to like. I literally just used all his pieces to um, to do rebirths. Well, not well, not rebirth. I call it rebirths because of because of Monster Super League. Well, that's li literally what it is. You you sacrifice pieces to to get something else. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna go back to farming now. I'm gonna start working on my. I, I've been working on my Olga. I've been, really just been working on my Olga because my double heal is like gonna be the next main meta. I think for for a while. I'm just joining on that. I don't. I I don't think I can afford to like be ahead of the meta, but I can. Um, I can definitely follow the meta. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm raising my double healers to combat all the double tanks in the Coliseum. Um, and then once they realize that, they're going to start switching to double healers. And I'm probably going to be really strong at that time because I, I have a lot of strong damage dealers. So I can uh, I can probably dominate dominate the meta when when it's uh, when it's double healers by countering it with um, with my Death Knight and stuff. But that's pre pretty much it. Back to farming. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll I'll be you know working hard while these while this event is up. And um, look look forward to the video where I'm going to have like a million gold or ten million gold. And I'm gonna spend it all on summons. Like I'm gonna spend so much that I get all these boxes from the wanted posters, and I'm gonna open all at the same time. It's gonna be it's gonna be sweet. Um, but I'm gonna wait till the event actually ends. I'm gonna see how much gold I get. But I'll, I'll I'll be spending at least 10 million gold um, on on just on just summoning. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.